Franck Ribéry is back in the game as an icon this year and he is not cheap. Priced at 1.3 million coins at the moment. He is an expensive person and you're going to have to dip your hand in your wallet to get him. But the question is, is his card as an icon good this year? Well, let's find out, shall we? I can tell you now team, Frank Ribery was one of the most fun players I've used this year. Having high low work rates, 5 star, 5 star. This card was so much fun to use. He hosts some really good stats as well. Obviously half decent shooting, decent passing. Very, very, very good dribbling. And pace is obviously quite decent as well. Obviously physical stats aren't ideal. Uh, defending obviously you're not needing Ribery to defend. Obviously hosted an incredible career mainly known for his time at Bayern but this card was so much fun to use gives you great vers versatility to be able to play him at, you know, up front cam out on the wing I absolutely love this card does have the the technical plus trait if you're good at r1 dribbling you will really enjoy using this card now Obviously, I used them at the start. I used them at striker uh, towards kind of the end of the review. I did start putting them out wide, tried them in the kind of more supporting role, kind of see how he would influence the game. But you can see the kind of record, obviously, I had with this card. I scored all sorts of types of goals with with him. Uh, but the only other card I could think of where I had so much fun playing with was Mbappe. Mbappe for me is the best card in the game right now and Ribéry kind of gave me some reminders of him. Now I'm not saying that Ribéry is as good as Mbappe. What I'm saying is you could potentially have just as much fun with this card as you would do with Mbappe. Having 5 star 5 star is an absolute huge, huge benefit using this card. And I absolutely loved his shooting. I absolutely loved his passing, his dribbling. It was all just an amazing package. The price is quite hefty, I, I can't lie, it, realistically, the amount of people that are going to be buying this card is going to be quite slim at the start. You know, there is some SBCs coming out, so you may be able to pack them through that if you don't have the coins right now. But at the moment, I will say his price is probably quite heavily inflated just for the fact that this is Frank Ribéry and the fact he is an icon, the fact he links to everyone. He's a good nation and he's a good position as well for linking to, to other players. So. A lot of people are going to want Ribery at the moment. I would say that this card is he's just he's, he's phenomenal. I had so much fun, right? I don't know what else I can really say. At the end of the day, you're playing a game to have fun, and Ribery gives you that enjoyment. Having the ability for being able to go into either foot, being able to skill onto either foot, he does skill moves very, very nicely. Like, there's a few players, obviously, that are five-star skills that, you know, feel maybe a, a little bit disjointed when you're trying to do skill moves. Brant Ribery is not one of them. He feels very, very smooth when you're doing skill moves. Obviously, the biggest negative is definitely the price for me. I did kind of want him to be a little bit faster, if I'm being honest with you. Like, for a winger, I kind of really want my, my wingers to have kind of 90-plus pace. I know he's close to that. It's just... At, at moments he did get caught up and he is a bit weak as well obviously I did obviously mention at the start of the video he is a little weak but I do feel like the balance in the card actually helps make him feel almost a little bit stronger so each to their own you kind of try out the card and you can judge whether or not you feel like he's too weak or if he's just about right really up to yourself in that one but I did notice it occasionally, but there were occasions where he was also out muscling people, so it really didn't come down to yourself in this opinion. Now, when I figured out a rating for this card, I ooh, it came down to kind of two main factors: longevity and obviously how much fun I had with the card. Longevity, right now, you could probably use this card as you know your main man. You could use them at striker if you want to. You could use them at cam. You could use them in a central position. However, as the game progresses. Or even if you have loads and loads of coins right now, he's probably not going to be the starting role for you right now. 
and probably start in that supporting role, which he can definitely do perfectly as well. So ratings wise, I feel like a nine. I feel like a nine. I, I would go higher. However, I feel like as the game progresses, he will definitely move into supporting role. And realistically, anyone that's going to be in supporting role can't go above a nine. But for the pure enjoyment I had with this card, nine is an easy rating for me. Uh, I would personally want to go higher, but I feel like you're all going to be hating me in the comments. Going, he's 1.3 million. He can't be high. I don't care. <laughs> well, but he's, a, he's a nine. He's a nine. He's five star, five star. Incredible finishing. Incredible dribbling. Really fun to use. And at the end of the day, if a card's fun to use, then it's got to be a high rating at the end of the day. But team, do let me know what you think of this review. Let me know if you've used Frank Ribery, what you think of him as well. And let me know who also, who you want me to review next. But other than that team, thank you all very much for watching the review. Adios. Take care.